Well, then we had a rather bizarre segment. Sarah Schreiber's in the ring with Nikki, Ash, and Rhea Ripley. And she says, I hear you guys want to make an announcement. And Nikki says, yes, we are here to challenge Zelina and Carmella for the tag team titles. <laughs> you know, know it wasn't going to be that. Rhea gets in close and she goes, wait a second, we weren't going to talk about that. We we're going to talk about the Royal Rumble. And so uh, Schreiber says, you know, there's been a lot of talk about, uh, about you two having some dissension. And uh, you want to talk about that. And Ripley is about to talk, but then she goes, you know what? Let's not do this out here. And Nikki grabs a mic and says, no, you know what? We are going to do this out here. And so Nikki grabs a mic and she starts accusing Rhea of thinking that she's better and thinking that Nikki is a loser. And Rhea's saying, I don't think any of this. I've never said any of this. And finally they agree as, as Ripley started to get angry at, at Nikki for for accusing her of all of this she goes let's just go and and they finally agree to just do a, a hug and a handshake and they do the hug and the handshake and then nikki goes to kind of cheer to the crowd and you're watching this thinking all right rhea ripley big mean rhea ripley is gonna just smash this this yeah, tiny but, woman here yeah but the thing is is that that i would have been really upset if they did that because rhea ripley's a natural baby face oh she's I mean, a natural baby face but you know who else is a natural baby face is Nikki Ash, and she's tiny. Okay, but here's the Nikki thing. Nikki Ash turns on okay, Rhea, okay, starts oh, stomping a mud oh, hole in her. Okay, okay, okay. Here's the thing. You can okay. You in in theory, Nikki's a natural baby face. Except, in fact, she's not because she's not over, and Rhea Ripley can be over, and and will and was over because in that tag team, nobody cared about Nikki. Nobody, no, you know. Nobody's cared about this this act, this superhero act. It didn't get over. You know, they went with it. You know, on paper, it seemed like a good idea. At, when they did it, I thought, okay, it's kind of cute little thing, you know, Molly Holly update, whatever. Um, but it didn't work. So it's like Nikki, you know, Nikki's made to be a baby face, except she's not over. So she's, you know, and Rhea Ripley. Well, you know, there's a lot of problems here, Dave. Number one, I'm not even advocating for Rhea to turn on Nikki as opposed to what they did. I mean, you know, it's okay for a team to just, like, go their separate ways. Nikki was not over in this stupid superhero gimmick. They gave her a stupid name. The whole thing was dumb. It was booed pretty much from day one. Then they beat her unmercifully. So, they beat like, her unmercifully. of course she's not over. But, but, but she, the reason they beat her unmercifully was because she was not over. It was, and, and then they decided the way to get her over is to beat her unmercifully and do the storyline. Well, I, mean, I could have told you that wasn't going to work. Well, I know, well, we talked about that from day one. Of course, of course that's not going to get her over. But I mean, that was the, the, the thing is she didn't, it, the, the, chicken egg thing is she didn't get over so their idea of like this is how we're going to get her over is we're going to beat her and beat her and beat her and beat her and beat her so they have to break up the team and and you know when they will then you know I, I don't know when the decision was made that she would go heel out of it but you know since she wasn't over as a baby face that would be it i mean the thing is is for for her and Rhea, they can do some stuff you know and it keeps Rhea busy and then Rhea should go over and, um, you know, Rhea should be, she should be a single. I mean, she really should, I think it hurt her to be put in that tag team to begin with. She should be a single. She should be up there in that mix with, uh, you know, really with, uh, she Bianca should Bella. certainly be in the championship mix. Yeah. Well, and I think that ultimately, um, you know, I can't count on them to do anything, but I think there's a good chance that she, I, mean, I don't say there's a good chance she will be, um, if if I trusted them to be good bookers, I would say there's a good chance they will be. But, you know, I mean, they drop the ball on so many people. But she should be. She should be in that mix. She should be, um, you know, I mean, I, when, you know, I think that Becky Lynch and uh, Rhea Ripley, you know, should be a, a program. So, you know, but you, not right away. I mean, that's like maybe, um, you know, for the summer or something, you know, down the line. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.